Oh well, guys, looks like my house is gonna lose power in the next few few seconds. Um, I just woke up. Uh, it's I don't even have a watch on. It's um, it's kind of late. I woke up to a storm. My my gazebo's down. I don't really know what to do. But we're supposed to travel today to go to Vermont. We're supposed to travel today to go to Vermont. And uh, guys, it's it's looking scary. I don't like driving in weather like this. Oh, there's stuff on my neighbor's lawn. Oh. All right, being outside is probably a little bit dangerous, so uh, it is what it is, guys. Let's go. Let's have a good day, though. Let's have a good day. Monte. What up, man? How are the road conditions where you're at? Drivable. So you'll be safe? Yeah, but I will be there at, like, 1220. Okay. I don't even know what to do. Do you all see us, bro? There's nothing I can do about this. Nothing. All right, maybe there's something I could do. <sighs> bro. At least that will stop the wind from moving it a lot. I don't even know. I'm not gonna lie, but there's nothing we can really do about it. So let's get ready to leave. Hey. Off ten minutes on the ride. That's actually dangerous, low key, no? Yeah. I hydroplane for a good solid thirty. Seconds. Let's go. Monty's here. We're gonna head out of here. Wow. Wow. Thirty is thirty is such a stretch. It was maybe eight seconds of hydroplane though, which is so scary. Eight I thought seconds. Something was in Bro, that's a long, that's a long, long time. time. <laughs> I look, you don't have the address. Please answer, dude. Oh, uh, we just, I realized I don't even have the address for the listing. Sure, how, how far out are you? Ah, uh, I think I'll need the directions to figure that out. That on the dot. That's what I'm saying, we got this, bro. 325, let's go. I just wanted to tell you that we've got like record rainfall up here, so. Fantastic. It's pretty, it's pretty intense, like a lot of roads are shut down. Yeah, I would definitely like charge your phone before you come and maybe like stop at a grocery store. All right, we're gonna make it work regardless. I appreciate you, Kalen, for reaching out. All right, man, drive safe and I'm here, all right? All right, thank you, appreciate you. Something about him saying I'm here made me feel nice. <laughs> no, seriously, bro, I'm here. Like, I thank you, bro. All right, I gotta drop off some intrepid packages. This is my brand for those of you who don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna drop this stuff off and then we're gonna actually hit the road and go. <sighs> Oh. All right, what, what prank do I pull on Joel while he's gone? I have his phone. What could I do with a phone and a banana? What could I do? What prank do I pull on Joel? Phone and a banana. Maybe eight seconds of hydroplane. Though. And a banana. I got nothing. Just know, Joel, I wanted to prank you. Yeah. Man, that was... <laughs> it's so wet outside. <laughs> heard a lot of the stores are closing down and we still haven't gotten breakfast or dinner for the last two days so since we want to actually eat food we're stopping in the best store ever created market basket to get some groceries for tonight and tomorrow <sighs> first thing on the list orange juice no pulp mixed groceries i said this is the best supermarket that you yeah. can go to oh, it's good to meet you though I'm telling you the best store Oh, it's like a, we're doing a picture like this? Oh, yeah. oh nice. All right, get it, get it. I call it 10 second meditation. 10 whole seconds? 10 seconds okay. of your uh, holiday. This is like holiday so, feast right so here. We got it. So interesting. That's probably the best reaction you can get though to anything, I feel like, so I'm not mad at it. Finally made it to this Airbnb, and it is insane. Uh, but for now, we have a bunch of stuff we gotta unpack over here, and groceries we still have to put in the fridge, so we're probably just gonna settle in here. Tomorrow is the day that we get to try out this sauna. Oh yeah, or tonight. So we're gonna try that thing out. 
Um, but yeah, this place is, looks insane. Very cool, happy to be alive. The road conditions were treacherous. We made it, so let's check in with you guys soon. I remember hearing this dude talk about a story. The story pretty much went like, in 50 years from now, you're super old, you can't really move, you might need some help. If you had the ability to go back to this day that you're living right now, you can't change anything about the day, but you are, can live in the day. You're seeing things that you took for granted in that moment in time, but actually meant a lot to you. And that's something I've been feeling a lot recently. Even though doing this content creation stuff makes my life very interesting and allows me to travel, sometimes I still take for granted the things that I do have, which the fact that both of my parents are alive, the fact that I can use my body, the fact that I have a good relationship with a lot of people around me and I'm building building connections and I'm able to travel and do this stuff but as crazy as it is sometimes that stuff goes over my head and I forget about the blessings that I do have. I think one of the scariest things you can do is take your life for granted and go back and say oh, I wish I could have done that. I regret not doing this. I think that regardless of how bad the situation is or how bad things might seem there is actually always a positive thing that you can take from it and some you can be grateful for and a good book that made me realize this a lot more is one called The Gap and the Gain and it's a book about how we can think in gap mentality mentality which is pretty much this sucks or we can think of the game mentality which is what is it I can learn from this and how can I use this to help me in the future and why is it that I'm thinking these negative ways that make my whole experience as a human way worse than it could be that's what I've been thinking recently because with all the changes that are happening in my life I want to make sure that I'm appreciative of everything that I have right now before it really is again gone forever and with that being said let's go start the day it is like one degree out here Yo, you like the jacket though ASRV blessed me. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're gonna be doing a video for this one, but all right, let's go start the day. Does this look ridiculous? Mm. Looks like it's meant to be. Ah, beautiful. All right, today I'm gonna to be making pretty much exactly what Monty has right here. Three eggs, Asiago bagel, cream cheese. Oh, don't. I'm so <laughs> surprised more didn't fall off. I'm gonna be adding in some oatmeal packets so that I can actually get some more protein. Bro, these are deceptively- <laughs> Did you say that? Not, dude, that? like you can put like 16 wait. ounces in this. Wow, that is a lot. Right? Oh my God. Deceptive, yeah. bro, deceptive. Cause they use that reverse osmosis, bro. What? I'm gonna quick cut to my breakfast. You're looking lovely today. Okay, so it's after breakfast time and last time I did a vlog, I was telling you guys that I reach out to five companies every single day to do a brand collaboration. Well, that's changed a little bit because now I'm actually reaching out to companies for my videography business because I've kind of noticed that the content that I create on social media isn't like it's bad content or anything, but there's not, I can't figure out what the ROI is, the return on investment is for a company who wants to work with me as a motivational content creator. But we, we found a way that we can reach out to people, to leads, through LinkedIn. And we're going to see if that actually works. So we pretty much reach out now to 15 people, me and Monty, to 15 people on LinkedIn every single day to try to connect with them eventually so that we can get these higher ticket jobs. That way I can pretty much create whatever content I want on social media and not have to worry about anything. I still do work with content creators like ASRV. That's what we're kind of here doing a shoot for, but it's not like I'm like begging them to like give me money pretty much. <laughs> Nah. So for the next 45 minutes, we're gonna reach out to Connects through LinkedIn. And then after, I'm gonna show you what this house is all about and why we're even here, pretty much. Uh, so let's do this little work first, and then we do a little tour after. <laughs> We 
finished up doing um, the outreach stuff. Now I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tour of this Airbnb that we're actually in. Let's take a look at this place. Okay, first I wanna start out in the main living room. This is actually a tiny house. So the bedroom is upstairs and everything else is down here. The owner of this Airbnb told me some stuff about the place. So I wanna make sure that I talk about it. All right, first, let's see. What? All right, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is so much stuff that I'm just gonna put in the description of the video because this is like in-depth. You wanna know in-depth, in-depth. What I will say though is that this dude who made this, he made two of them. He made this by hand. He made another one too. It's like back in the woods. I actually did an Airbnb video and I used to do those type of videos about it. So if you want to check that out, it's a lot different than this type of vlog stuff, but it is still a pretty cool video. Regardless though, this house, he pretty much made it by hand. He had to like make the whole well and everything. And it's Japanese. Wait, let me make sure I got that one right. Yes. Yeah, so it's Japanese inspired. So everything in here gives you that kind of vibe. It's called the Sai House. It's very cool. He included a sauna too. We're going to check out, but in the living room is pretty basic. The coolest thing about this living room is for sure this. Right here, hold up. So he didn't include, and he did this with the other place, he didn't include a TV, but he got something better. It's actually a projector screen, very nice, and a sound bar above it, and a subwoofer down low. So if you wanna watch movies, this is definitely the place to do it. The projector is right over there for you to watch anything. I think there's like a, I think there's like an HDMI thing underneath if you wanna use that to, to do anything. All right, let's go in the kitchen. This is the kitchen, it's, if you can't tell, I could touch both sides with my hands stretched out. So it's not like the largest amount of space, but it's a tiny house, that's the whole point. I mean, that's really, yeah, you saw us cooking, so I'm not gonna go too in depth. The kitchen, there it is. One of the coolest parts about this house, I think, is this bathroom, for sure. The bathroom, first of all, full-sized. It is not smaller than any regular bathroom, in my opinion. In fact, it's definitely way bigger. Ceilings are super high. There's two showers. There are rain showers, too. Super nice. Definitely, you can tell this is like a couple-themed place. And then this mirror, it's like a abstract shape. It looks like um, literally like a potato, Ikea. So it's, I don't know how you even would cut something like this, how you cut glass like that. It looks like one of those like pear phones that you saw in like iCarly back in the day. Victorious, shows are goaded. It's a completely different texture. It's not even wooden here. It's actually, it's actually like stone. It feels like some type of stone, so very, very nice. And then up these stairs is the bedroom. Monty's over there reading a book. I think it's a long queen is what it looks like, or a long full, I don't know. But it's pretty much just a bed here, and then you get this crazy, crazy view of the forest in the morning. I wish it was sunny, but it's not, it's whatever. Let's go outside and see what the view actually looks like, and then check out the sauna. Let's check that out. All right, well, the camera just dropped. It just dropped. <sighs> That type of stuff makes me so sad. Okay, pretty much we're outside. Now, you can see that thing, look at that thing. That thing looks beautiful. Let's go, let's go check it out. I just wanna go check it out. This thing gets to be like, uh, I think this gets to be like 190 is what we put it at. So 190, you can lock yourself in here and sweat for 20 minutes if you want, maybe even longer. I use saunas like four times a week. It's a good thing. If you don't use saunas, you should get into it. Good job, man. Awesome. And then obviously around here we have that actual front of the cabin. So giant windows, super big windows, also Japanese inspired. I think if it wasn't freezing outside, maybe I'd have fun enjoying this thing, but truly, truly, it's so hard to be out here as it is. And I gotta go run later too. But this is pretty much the tiny house that he created. Very, very nice day. If you guys wanna stay here, which I do recommend you do, I'm gonna be leaving everything about the Airbnb that I missed out on or all the technical stuff about it. I'm gonna leave in the description. Let's get on with our day though. I think, I think what we're gonna do next is I have to go on a run. I think we're gonna do that next. Dang, I really gotta go run. All right, let's, let's go. All right, we're filming an ASRV. So we're gonna do a running video. We're doing one for this puffer jacket. It was supposed to be snowing. That was supposed to be the whole point of the video, but it's not snowing. So instead, we're just gonna do like a wood one, some kind of cool. Oh, he looks so scary back there, bro. Devious, man. <laughs> it was actually around maybe five-ish weeks ago that I, I sprained my ankle. So I couldn't run the half marathon. Uh, I'm trying to get back into running with a program from Koros, which is pretty much this watch brand. They sent me on a watch. I'm gonna make a video for it. It's just nice because it helps you keep track of your heart rate, which for running, that's like super useful. I have a super high heart rate for some reason. Uh, it'll reach like 200 on some like harder runs and that's not good.
ASRV sends me out gear every month. This time though, it's focused on running. And I was asked by one of you guys last time how it is I can even collaborate with, with brands like this. I make content very similar to ASRV's cinematic stuff. So that's why they partner with me. But if you want to get into it, you just need to find the brand that you kind of want to work with and then make content better than the content they have or very similar to it. And I promise you they'll reach out to you, but you have to be consistent with it for sure. You need to pretty much do it every single day. This is the fit I'm gonna be wearing. Only thing missing are the gloves. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna get ready for this run and finish the last part of filming for today. Get it back home nice and safe. I only did 1.95 miles according to Strava. And the reason is because I ran uphill, I got to a point where I couldn't see anything and then I just saw a figure across the road and I was just not gonna run past that. So I ran down the hill as fast as I possibly could. I'm just thinking sauna, relax, maybe offload a lot of these clips, go to sleep, probably wake up tomorrow and head out of here pretty early. I'm gonna keep filming. The vlog's not done just yet, but pretty much it for the uh, crazy activities. It's time to go home. Oh, it's like 20 degrees outside right now. I'm gonna spend the last few moments we have in the Airbnb in the sauna. The cool thing about the sauna is this little window they have right behind me and you can, this is such a cool view to be able to look at in the morning. So that pretty much wraps up this trip. Really hope you guys enjoyed the cinematic stuff. We spent a lot of time doing all that. And if you do like this type of content, please guys, subscribe. Eventually I wanna to get to the point where I can make these videos and have them pay for me to make more videos for you guys. But until then, I, every single like or subscription definitely matters. And it's been real. Bye-bye.